Yay! Chant Olianoha offers us a word of greeting, and in part, it says that this is the site for which you have longed for. Christopher and Andrew have longed to see each other here today, and our guests have longed to see your loved ones up here today as well. It also says in the Olianoha chant that now that you have come, love has come with you. Please feel that aloha for each other and for Christopher and Andrew today as I chant Ole Aloha. Oh, no, nai ka hala mai ka lai hua He hala le hua no i ka ke no e O ka uno i a e na no i nei E lia a ne ho i a hiki mai A hiki mai no oe Kiki puno me ke aloha, aloha e, aloha e, aloha e, e, e. Aloha e and e koma mai kakao. Greetings and welcome all. The Hawaiian word aloha, I'd like to talk about that a moment. In one context, it means to share the sacred breath of life. You've heard it as a greeting when we say aloha, or in parting we say aloha. Um, the root of the word means so much more. Aloha means kindness, respect, joy, honor. All of those warm, fuzzy feelings that you get in the pit of your stomach, that's aloha. When you use it as a greeting, you're asking, for all of those warm, fuzzy feelings to stay with you until you're, while, the, while you're together the entire time. And when you use it in parting, it means, may that aloha, all those warm and fuzzy feelings, may it keep you until we're together again. I really don't know of any other greeting that's so intimate and personal. So when your loved ones say aloha, remember that they're giving you all of themselves. I would ask that everybody take a moment now and share aloha with each other, maybe by closing your eyes, but take in a deep breath and share the aloha that we're all here with today. Be aware of the breezes today too, for in Hawaii, we believe that the breezes carry the spirits of absent loved ones, people that can't be with you today because they're not able to make it or because they live in another state or country or perhaps they've passed on, or it's your ancestors. So as you breathe in your aloha today, know that your aloha is carried with you on the breezes of your family and loved ones. And if you become strongly aware of a breeze today, know that that someone is touching you to say aloha and is thinking of you. I ask that you keep the aloha with you today and always. With that, congratulations, Christopher and Andrew. <laughs> Your marriage is, we've come here to celebrate one of the most important and beautiful things that anyone can come together for, and that's your love. And it is so deep and so full of joy for each other and respect that you've asked us to all gather here today to join us to witness your union. When you join together in marriage, it means that you accept each other in love as lovers, as companions, and as friends, of course, and it is taken with great consideration and respect for each other. 
This celebration represents the process in which the two of you will grow in love and in union together in your future. It is the welding of two souls as one, but it's a demonstration of the bonding that will strengthen your relationship together. And yet, as you each grow together as one, you each grow individually and stronger. In, Ho in a Hawaiian wedding, a lay ceremony has the same meaning and symbolism as does the exchange of rings. Uh, the lei, much like a ring, is an unbroken circle and is a symbol of eternal and unconditional aloha and love and the commitment of your hearts together. Also, as each flower is brought into the circle on the lei, it loses none of its individuality. It reminds us that in the unity of your love, you have lost none of your unique uniqueness. In fact, the loving care and nurturing security of your relationship helps you grow even more fully into that special person with whom your partner fell in love. Andrew, I'd like you to take this lay and put it around the neck of your handsome groom. Remember, up to the heart. There you go. And give him a kiss. See, this is a good part of Hawaiian weddings. The kissing starts really early. <laughs> <laughs> and likewise, Christopher, I'd like you to take this lay and put it around your handsome groom and give him a kiss. <laughs> so, in Hawaii, technically, you've been married. We're not in Hawaii, though. Still, that was easy. <laughs> we still have rings. Hey, yeah, we'll get there, I promise. <laughs> um, uh, we have a kawai ola, oli ceremony in Hawaii that is a waters of life and unity ceremony. Um, while I'm talking about it, I'd like you to take this water and you to take this water, and I promise they're fresh. I didn't spike it. <laughs> and if you'd each fill the glass halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Halfway. The Kavaiola, or the Waters of Life Unity Ceremony, comes from the early Hawaiians who had a great reverence for fresh water. It was a precious gift from the gods and was considered the most important uh, thing to sustain all life. It represented prosperity for the individual who had water was considered prosperous. The ability to grow and nourish himself and others gave him the power to speak with the voice of authority. Throughout the world, water is also an important element used for purification, cleansing, protection, and blessings. The viola ceremony and ritual symbolically unites the life energies, or mana, of the wedding couple in their bond of a lifetime using the sacred fresh waters of the ancient god Kane. It's gathered prior to the ceremony by the kapu in an ancient ritual on the sacred tabu or kapu night of Kane from a secret spring or from a special consecrated location. Thank you, Bevmo. The water is always to remain pure and never touched by human hands before or after it is gathered, and it hasn't. Today, men pretty much go out and they celebrate and drink and partake of a wholly different kind of spirit, <laughs> which I know you did yesterday, and I'm very happy for that. <laughs> so I'd like you each to drink from this glass. And as you're drinking, I'd like you to take in the love of each other, the heart and soul of your lives together, and know that in each other, you will always have prosperity within you. And I wish for you... <laughs> it's water, not Scott. <laughs> May you never thirst again. I will ask that in the future, in times of trouble and doubt, or when you're having challenges, if you put out this glass and drink to remind each other of your bonds, your love, and the sharing of each other's money. This is for you to take home. So, you have your vows. Christopher, would you like to go first and speak? <laughs> oh. Just too bad.
Andrew. I promise to always remember that I'm yours. And no matter how bad life seems, I will always be there to remind you that this is the American dream and I will tickle your head and everything will be all right. Andrew? Um, I obviously didn't prepare anything because, heaven forbid, I prepare vows. But we have never prepared anything in our life. Um, we went to Cyber's one night for my birthday and we were on a plane three hours later. We didn't prepare that. We didn't prepare anything. We have never prepared in our life. And it's always been an amazing adventure. And just like I didn't prepare anything tonight. <laughs> and that works for us. <laughs> um, I, <You're> done. No. <laughs> just like I didn't prepare anything tonight. I know our life will be an adventure forever. And that's why I love you. Because it will, Stand up. <laughs> it will be an adventure forever. <laughs> so are the rings you can break? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Where's the rings? <laughs> <laughs> so, before this service, I dipped this koa wood bowl into the Pacific Ocean in order to perform a Hawaiian blessing over these rings. This is actually black gold koa. It is the hardest of all koa woods. It is the strongest. It's also the most rare. I will tell you more about this story later, about this amazing bowl that I had made <laughs> for your wedding. Um, Koa wood uh, it makes, in Hawaii, they make outrigger canoes, utensils, bowls. Because it's so strong, it becomes to represent integrity and strength <clears throat> and are basically the foundational qualities of your relationship. Marriage is not just the beautiful passion and tender emotion of love. It is a covenant enduring all of life's changes based on faith, hope, and love. And the tea leaf represents prosperity, health, and the blessing of body, mind, and spirit. So I'd like you to both together put in your rings, and I'd each like you to grab one side of the bowl. Okay, and you're gonna hang on to that. <laughs> and this is your ring lesson. Hey, I ha no kamalu hia o kanani me kaku apau. May blessings from above rest upon you and remain with you now and forever. The water has a double significance. One is a washing back into the Pacific, as it were, symbolically ridding you of any hindrance to relationship, disappointment, or hurt from the past. In, Hawaii, in Hawaiian, this is called ho'oponopono, or reconciliation, um, by letting go of anything from your past that troubled you with grace and aloha. This helps you get ready for the second aspect of the water, which may be pro profoundly true, for the two of you today. It re represents a brand new beginning as husband and husband. Place that in my hand. And Andrew, I'd like you to take the ring. Rings. 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 Heaven forbid, yeah. yeah. One ring. Okay. Andrew, as you take this ring and place it upon Christopher's finger, Please repeat after me. Christopher William Hurd. Repeat after me. 
Chris Rue, I'm sorry. I'm looking at his eyes. <laughs> With this ring, as a symbol of my eternal love and my devotion to you, You had to have two. He's <laughs> 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 <It was> classic. <laughs> Repeat after me. Andrew. Andrew. With this ring. With this ring. As a symbol of my eternal love. As a symbol of my eternal love. And my devotion to you. And my devotion to you. I do wet. I do wet. I ho'okahi kahi ke aloha uamanu. Be united as one in love forever. Please kiss. Wahine and Kane, ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored to present to you Christopher and Andrew Bone. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drink! <laughs> Well, I already said it to you. I already said it to you. Push the button. 